Hello, church family. Glad to be with you today and start this new study in 1 Samuel 1. And this is the story of Hannah. The scripture states that a man named Elkanah had two wives named Hannah and Penina. Penina had children and Hannah did not. And of course, this great, created great conflict within the family. And it says that Penina would provoke Hannah severely to make her miserable to the point that she would not she would weep and would not eat. As they were in Shiloh to worship, Hannah went to the tabernacle to pray as Eli sat near the doorpost and watched. And she poured out her heart to the Lord. The scripture says she was bitter of soul and wept with anguish as she poured out her heart to the Lord by moving her lips without speaking. She asked for a male child and vowed to give him to the Lord for the rest of his life. And as Eli watches, he confronts her and says to put a, that she should put away her wine, but she defended herself. And Eli eventually gave her comfort and encouraged her by saying, go in peace, the God of Israel, grant your petition which you have asked of him. And as she returned home, the Lord remembered Hannah, and I love that the Lord remembered. And she conceived and bore a son named Samuel, and she fulfilled her promise. Over the years in her bitterness and jealousy, I'm sure that Hannah must have prayed many times for a child. And it probably started out like how much she wanted a child. Oh, I would be a great mother. And how so many other people could have children and so many kids and she couldn't. I'm sure the I was there most of the time in her request. What changed for Hannah? Well, this time Hannah's prayer was most likely different. She brought the Lord into it and promised and vowed to him that she would give a male child to him for life to serve him, to worship him, and to be a priest and representative for him. When her heart was filled with the Lord, Hannah was able to release that bitterness and anguish in her life. Miracles can happen when we let God into our hearts to mold and exalt our desires to his glory. Hope you have a great day today and enjoy your study. God bless.